Greetings, welcome to the Columbus Museum Online. My name is Jonathan Frederick Walls and I'm curator of American art here at the Columbus Museum. I'm excited to talk about this new acquisition to our permanent collection. It's a painting by Helen Tor called Veneer and Grapes. You can see the um, subject of the title here. This is a piece of wood with this kind of very interesting wood graining and of course a cluster of green grapes down here at the bottom. It's dated around 1930 and Helen Tor and her husband, Arthur Dove, were friends with the artist Charles Demuth, who in the 20s began a series of symbolic portraits. And Arthur Dove actually made several of these himself. Symbolic portraits are um, likenesses that don't incorporate the kind of realistic face or body of the person who is the subject of the portrait. And I don't wonder if perhaps this might might be one here of a double portrait of uh, both Helen and Arthur. The reason I think that is because Demuth himself, when he paints Dove's uh, symbolic portrait, he uses, among other items, uh, a bunch of grapes. And in that image, it refers to the fact that during Prohibition, Arthur Dove made his own wine. But I also think it relates to the fact that the avant-garde at the time in America is fermenting um, a kind of different way of uh, picturing the world, of imagining how they create their work. What's also interesting is the title indicates that this is a veneer. veneer. She has a lot of self-confidence issues, let's put it that way. And um, so, in a sense, she very often has to present sort of this kind of uh, facade to the world, and facades and veneers are related. So I'm kind of wondering if she's combining these two items to indicate something about um, each of them. Um, I love also the different um, kind of patterning and textures that we have, this kind of uh, emphasis on the wood grain of the paneling around the objects, um, this cool looking surface that might be marble, um, and this wonderful um, kind of ornamental um, either etched glass or maybe wallpaper behind the objects themselves. 